Move back. The room stinks of rotten meats. Look at the indentation. It's a small hole in the wall, some three inches deep. Card up, card down. Use the white gem. What do you want to use this on? The hole. The gem fits perfectly in the hole. A small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. Take it. The sphere is in hand. Move back. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Move right. This subterranean cavern has been carved by centuries of supernatural erosion. Use the sphere. What do you want to use this on? The water? You drop the sphere into the lake and notice the ripples disappear as the water turns into ice. Take the sphere. You can't take it. Take the key. You can't take it. Very carefully position the cursor on the key and then take it. The key three is in hand. Ugh, card down, card down. Use the torch. The torch is lit. Use the other torch. What do you want to use this on? The frozen lake. You put the burning torch close to it. The torch melts away as the ice over the sphere, allowing it to float to the surface. Not surprisingly, the lake quickly refreezes. Now take the sphere. The sphere is in hand. Move away. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Move forward. The walls, the floor, and the coffins are all made of stone. This room, full of mirrors, reminds you of the elven funhouse at King Otto's Fair. Use the hammer. What do you want to use this on? The mirror. As soon as you break the mirror, shards of glass fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds and your body slumps to the floor. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. <laughs>